China's GJ-11 Sharp Sword has reappeared with a dramatic upgrade, folding wings. This single feature suggests the drone is being prepared for operations at sea, possibly from the decks of carriers. Built with stealth shaping, hidden intakes, and internal bays, it's designed for long-range, intelligent missions. In this video, we'll reveal why folding wings matter, what makes this system special, and how it signals a shift in aerial innovation. The 2025 Victory Day Parade was not just about national pride. Observers around the world noticed a striking difference in one particular aircraft, the GJ-11 Sharp Sword. This time, analysts spotted folding wing hinges, a design modification that typically points to shipboard operations. On an aircraft carrier or large amphibious ship, folding wings are crucial. They allow large platforms to be stored and moved in confined deck hangars. The presence of these hinges on the GJ-11 strongly suggested a carrier-ready variant was in the works. Why is this important? The GJ-11 had first been unveiled at the 2019 National Day Parade. Back then, it appeared as a sleek, stealthy drone, but without any obvious naval adaptations. By reintroducing it in 2025 with visible folding wings, China effectively communicated that the program had moved forward. Experts often refer to this adapted version as a possible GJ-21 or GJ-11, suggesting its potential for shipborne use. Beyond the physical aircraft, supporting symbols reinforced the idea. The Chinese Navy's Type 076 amphibious landing ship, sometimes described as a drone carrier, featured an emblem that closely resembled the GJ-11's wing profile. Emblems are not chosen casually in naval culture. Including the drone's outline suggested that the Type 076 was designed with the sharp sword in mind, potentially with electromagnetic catapults to launch it at sea. Reports also noted that imagery and satellite observations at inland testing facilities showed multiple GJ-11 units operating in coordinated fashion. Such activities align with the process of developing a system for complex, integrated missions. While this does not confirm current shipboard use, the pieces of evidence together formed a consistent narrative. China is preparing this drone for naval aviation. Importantly, none of this should be seen as official confirmation. The exact operational status remains undisclosed. Still, the combination of folding wings, emblem associations, and visible parade placement signaled that the GJ-11 is evolving beyond its debut role. To understand why the GJ-11 has drawn so much attention, it helps to look closely at how it is designed. This is not an ordinary drone. It is built around a stealth-first philosophy. Its entire airframe uses a flying wing design, blending the fuselage and wings into one smooth structure. By removing a vertical tail and minimizing protrusions, the shape dramatically reduces radar visibility. The technical refinements go further. The intake for the engine is S-shaped, curving in a way that shields the fan blades from radar. At the rear, the exhaust is flattened and partially hidden, making it harder to detect through heat signatures. Even the paint is chosen for low observability, similar to the light gray schemes used on China's crude stealth fighters. Inside, weapons and equipment are housed in internal bays. Unlike traditional drones that mount payloads on external pylons, the GJ-11 keeps everything enclosed. This preserves its low-profile signature while still allowing it to carry advanced payloads. Reports suggest it can handle precision-guided munitions, specialized missiles, and surveillance gear. This flexibility allows the sharp sword to shift roles depending on the mission. In terms of scale, estimates indicate the GJ-11 is about 10 meters long with a 14-meter wingspan. Its takeoff weight is around 10 tons, positioning it in the heavy category of uncrewed aerial systems. Performance expectations suggest subsonic speeds, an endurance of around 6 hours, and a combat radius exceeding 1,500 kilometers. From coastal bases that cover the East and South China Seas. From ships, it extends far deeper, projecting influence well beyond the shoreline. Beyond physical design, the GJ-11 is also thought to include artificial intelligence support. This does not mean it operates entirely independently, but that it can assist with navigation, target recognition, and decision support. 
Paired with crewed aircraft like the J-20, it can act as a loyal partner, expanding the pilot's reach by carrying sensors or additional payloads. When these features are considered together, the GJ-11 stands out. It is a stealth-optimized, flexible, and adaptable system intended to survive in environments where traditional drones might not last long. The idea of a carrier-based stealth drone is more than a technical milestone. It reshapes how aerial power can be projected. Carriers equipped with the GJ-11 would no longer be limited to launching only crewed fighters. Instead, they could operate a blend of human-piloted and intelligent aerial systems. This expands mission possibilities while reducing risks for pilots in sensitive zones. One of the most direct advantages is extended operational reach. With a range of more than 1,500 kilometers, the GJ-11 can patrol, observe, and carry out tasks well beyond the immediate horizon of its ship. This allows for persistent presence in areas of interest without requiring the constant use of piloted aircraft. It becomes a platform that can watch, listen, and respond for hours, enhancing situational awareness. Another important role is its ability to support crewed aircraft. As a loyal partner, the Sharp Sword could accompany advanced jets like the J-20, carrying sensors, decoys, or precision munitions. This teamwork approach distributes responsibilities. The piloted jet handles the highest level decisions, while the drone extends capability and flexibility. Other nations are exploring similar concepts, but the GJ-11's adaptation for carriers gives China an edge in merging sea-based aviation with intelligent aerial partners. The drone's stealth design also makes it suited for missions in areas with strong surveillance or monitoring. By operating with reduced visibility, it can approach locations of interest without immediate detection. Combined with its ability to carry precision tools, it introduces options for both observation and direct action without revealing its presence until necessary. There are challenges, of course. Launching and recovering stealth drones from ships requires advanced systems such as catapults, secure communications, and robust deck handling procedures. Integrating them into naval operations will demand new training, coordination, and maintenance routines. These are not small steps and no official confirmation has yet been given on whether full shipboard trials have begun. Nevertheless, the momentum is undeniable. Folding wings, naval emblems, and coordinated testing point to a consistent direction. If realized, the GJ-11 would mark the arrival of hybrid air wings, where human pilots and intelligent drones operate side by side from the decks of carriers and amphibious ships. The GJ-11 Sharp Sword has evolved from a parade debut into a platform that may soon redefine sea-based aviation. Folding wings, stealth design, and flexible mission roles suggest it is on track to become China's first carrier-ready uncrit system. Whether supporting advanced jets or extending the eyes and reach of ships, the Sharp Sword signals a future where carriers host both human and intelligent aerial platforms. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on space exploration and scientific discoveries, and don't forget to leave a comment below. Also, you can visit our website, spaceinews.com. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.